This is the Player 4 Podcast. Join us each week as we talk about video games, entertainment, and pop culture, and bring in guests from the Rooster Teeth community. Player 4 has entered the game. Hello and welcome to the Player 4 Podcast. I am Tristan, a.k.a. Shagrazir, on the Rooster Teeth website. I'm Alex, a.k.a. Chaos Black 21. I'm Malachi, a.k.a. Suki Hiba. And I'm Joseph, a.k.a. AJ Dunlap, the special guest. Hi, special uh, guest. Uh, uh, <laughs> we have some topics on the list for tonight that we can talk about with our special guest. They include <laughs> Mal stuff. I don't know what these mean. I'm just reading them. Don't blame me. Mal stuff, Spider-Man, and RT explaining to do. Uh, I think Mal stuff is like some type of malware. That, uh, <laughs> we've been infected it with. So. I don't know why we decided this. What did we decide? That... You don't know why we decided this? I mean, I uh, it says that. right here uh, in the Discord chat, Suki Kiba, Mal stuff, Spider-Man, RTX planning. So you're the one who wrote it, so you want to talk <laughs> about your stuff. I'm going to bust on Malachi's balls here for a second and say that he's got the verb Planing, which means to smooth a piece oh, of wood. Oh, okay. RTS right. planing. <laughs> <laughs> Son so. of a bleep. <laughs> so that's that's my contribution to tonight's discussion. Um, uh, uh, it's okay. Joseph edited it, ever. so now we have a uppercase M for Mal, a hyphen in between <laughs> Spider-Man, and it's planning is spelled correctly. I mean, no, that's what am I planning. Here for? <laughs> Wait a minute. This is different now. I thought we were making a joke about RTX explaining. Explaining RTX. We're not. That's not the joke. Uh, no, I, w- I was thinking we were planning it like a board of wood. Uh, well, I mean, no, that's how it was spelled. Now it's spelled like planning. There. I mean, if, if yeah, so it's RTX explaining. That's how it should be. Where it's <laughs> it's explaining without the e and yeah. just RT instead. Yeah, this is what you guys yeah. get for leaving me in charge of this. <laughs> I mean, I just, I'm sorry, I thought fifth grade occurred. So now oh. that we've wasted so much time embracing the tangent, how about we go to Mal stuff? Yeah. Apparently. Mal, Mal tell us about stuff. Tell me stuff. Uh, I don't know. I uh, Apparently what I was talking about earlier was interesting. All I did was sit there and do the horrible thing of binge-watching stuff on Netflix Friday, and then slept all day, then hung out with my sister before she goes back to college, and then hung out with another friend on Sunday. What'd you binge-watch? Yeah, what'd you binge-watch? The Magicians. The Magicians? magicians. What is that? It is a series on Netflix about... uh, The story starts off about a a guy that's uh, really enjoys this story uh, that he grew up reading and he became obsessed with magic, but he knows card tricks and all that kind of stuff. Like he learned like practical or like magic. Um, so it's like a never ending story 20 years later. <laughs> so uh, go to find out once he was older, he kind of got scouted. I actually forgot how he found the the school, but he ends Magic. up he he ends up finding the school that actually uh, that yeah that teaches legit magic, what? and uh, he gets in and actually does it. But his friend, I hope it is magic, or not. He also had a friend that was a, a female friend that uh, went to go get in, also. But kind of got rejected, and then her her memory was erased. But she made it so she could remember that it existed, and it kind of drove her a little batty. Are you trying to whistle the Harry Potter theme over there, Alex? No, that wasn't me. That was Joseph. That was Joseph. Um, no, it was but like... I was not whistling. Uh, I was going to say, were you? Uh, before you stop talking, were you trying to say you hoped it was magic and not something that they say wasn't magic, but then later they retcon and say there's magic? I was going to say Hanky Panky. Oh, uh, I thought you were making a, a review <laughs> Yours reference. is much more interesting. 
<laughs> we should go with your interpretation. So I, I thought you were making a Ruby reference. I see. Did you turn yourself around. <laughs> yeah, I, I had you do the hanky panky and you turn yourself <laughs> around. That sounds like an interesting move. I wonder how you pull that off. Uh, I mean, I would say a position, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> they call it merry-go-round. You turn yourself around. Oh, man. <laughs> Joseph's gone. We ruined him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about the ending of Fanboys. I don't think I saw that. What is Fanboys? Oh, Okay. It's... <laughs> so excited I'm gonna, now. I feel like I'm about to regret this question. <laughs> Fanboys is a movie that takes place right before Phantom Menace comes out, and it's a group of friends that are all huge Star Wars fans. One of them has terminal cancer, and their goal is to find the home of George Lucas and get a hand, get their hands on a copy of Phantom Menace and let him watch it before he passes away. It actually has, um, oh, what's his nuts? Hiccup. <laughs> the guy from uh, She's Out of Your League. Jay Baruchel. Yeah, Jay Baruchel. He's in it, and he's oblivious to the fact that the girl likes him. Sounds like, You know, like usual, like like every Jay Baruchel character. <laughs> Look, he has a role that he plays well. Let him do it. No, I, I love Jay Baruchel. <laughs> I, I think he's awesome. But yeah, that, that's what he plays every movie. <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking about something you guys said, and it reminded me of Fanboys. I just now, need to attend one RTX where somebody doesn't say, You sound like Jay Baruchel. Say, a sub say something. Oh, okay. Let's go, uh, uh, Was this, Now, I just want to know, was this movie made after The Phantom Menace? And so, like, basically they put in to where they finally, he actually does get to see it, and they realize it's a piece of crap. See, that's, that's my headcanon, but he actually, like, he watches it and then he smiles. So, probably not. <laughs> He smiles. And then he dies <laughs> of his cancer. But first inside. Oh no, the movie might, the, might be the thing that actually killed him. <laughs> wow. The movie, the movie might have cured his cancer too, Alex. We don't all have to have sad, bad endings for things. I know. That's why I don't like the breakup. <sighs> that he, that maybe he found out about the midichlorians, and he got some midichlorians, and they fixed him. Oh my god. Force magic. So, Force. Seth Rogen has a cameo, as does, um, <laughs> what's his nuts? Captain Kirk. Everybody has nuts now. Uh, what? <laughs> Will Shatner? <laughs> yes, Will, Will Shatner has a cameo in it, as himself. Yes. Well, but, but, Shatner's a funny old guy now. Both times he said, "Well, it's his nuts. It's been, it's been guys." So what? What was girl? Is like, what's her boobs or something? What's her nuts? <laughs> what's her nuts? I mean, you know, how do you? You're gonna ask? I'm not gonna be the one to ask. Uh, <laughs> oh, Spider Man! Spider Man! <laughs> oh, but but see, see what Malachi didn't what he didn't put on the topics was. Part of the Netflix thing was I was going to talk about something I binge watch. Well, see, oh, so Mal okay. stuff is Mal stuff is incredibly vague. I had no idea that's what we you didn't know it was Mal and Joseph stuff. Yeah, I, I put after it Netflix binge watching question Ma mark Mal Malsif stuff. But that requires me to remember to look back over. See, I moved away from my mic because I was now over there looking at. Um, Let me RT explain this to you. Okay. Basic actually. <laughs> Basic actually. <laughs> Stick it all together. Basic actually. Now, were you done? Or were we just yeah. like riffing while you were waiting to talk? You guys just went to town and I'm just chilling here. <laughs> 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 it, it, it totally went away from mouth stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> Remember that time we had Rick Guerrero on? <laughs> I had a special guest, Rick Guerrero! <laughs> yep, sorry, Val, you're not part of this anymore. <laughs> okay, so I was I was binge-watching Black Mirror on Netflix recently. I think I finished it yesterday. You think you don't? You don't? You don't know if you actually finished it. <laughs> it, might, it might. There might be a secret episode. Yes, you have to find it on the Netflix like the the screen. You it's have like to find it. Hunt. It's the worst kind of treasure hunt. No, yeah. I had to think about where I was. It was yesterday. So, um, 
I was on Netflix, I was bored, and I saw Black Mirror Bandersnatch, and I was like, okay, I've heard about this, what is this? So I, I watched it, and it was a choose-your-own-adventure style video. Did it have Benjamin Cucumber in it? No, it did not have uh, been, a, been a Ratch Cumber, no. Uh, I think that got uh, Netflix... Someone got pissed off, like the Choose Your Own Adventure people got pissed off at Netflix because of... They're suing them. This. Yeah. Really? I, I, yes. There was, I clicked on something that was a Choose Your Own Adventure on Netflix, and because I had to keep, like, paying attention going over to the screen and clicking on it, I was like, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> I think it was a not-Minecraft thing. It didn't end up Story mode, then. Sure. Isn't it, like, five hours worth of, like, video? No. I mean, uh, Bandersnatch wasn't. It was more like 45 minutes. Well, I mean, it, if we go through one path, he means, like, you cover all the different paths. paths. Well, that's part of my review. Um, it's not communicated up front that the goal isn't to find the best ending. The goal is to find all the endings, and once you've found all the endings, the credits roll. Oh, so communicating that in my review is going to make anyone else's enjoyment a little bit better because they're not going to be confused by the fact that they get, just get ending after ending, none of them are very satisfying, and then suddenly it's over. So when you say in your review, you mean you're writing a review to Netflix or you're writing a review for the people of the internet to read, or is this your review right now? This is my review. Oh, okay. Welcome to the Joseph Report. Yes. dee 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 so if you want to play Bandersnatch on Netflix, just know that cre credits roll when you've found all the endings, and don't go into it thinking you're going to find the ending. I found the ending. Well, you found a ending. I did. I didn't. I didn't even watch it. I'm just being problematic. I know. I was just humoring you. <laughs> don't humor me. So I, yeah, and I <laughs> don't don't feed the troll, Joseph. No, by feeding the troll, I'm trolling you. Mm. Oh man, this is like trollception. Okay, okay. Meta troll is the correct term, but okay. Um, actually. Um, actually. Oh god. Uh, so I got curious about Black Mirror it itself as the actual show, the BBC. Is it BBC? Well, it's a British show. I know that. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I Black Mirror was interesting, but well, Bandersnatch was interesting, but. I didn't know what to think about it very well. It wasn't satisfying. It was just interesting. So I started watching Black Mirror all four seasons. And that that was actually a worthwhile experience. Well, yeah, a lot of people like Black Mirror. Isn't it? Black Mirror, if I'm not mistaken, kind of plays like the Twilight Zone. It's it's a bunch of different stories with like weird circumstances kind of thing, right? Yes, it has a lot in common with the Twilight Zone. What I'll say is different, first off, is every episode's plot is in some way enabled by the technology because it's science fiction. And good science fiction says, what if this technology existed? So every episode has a what if technology that the plot wouldn't exist without it even, okay. if it, even if the plot doesn't center around it. So if there's technology that says you can hook up to someone's head with a little TV and see their memories as they're talking about it, then the plot is going to incorporate that in a way that what happens is as a result of that technology. Good now, or bad. Now, a lot of the episodes are... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Good or bad. Yes, exactly. <laughs> usually bad. <laughs> uh, so the plots are usually inspired by the concept of Twilight Zone, which is you make some bad decisions and you get bad things as a result. <laughs> But some of them are a little bit, you know, happier. Some of them, it's not so much someone made bad decisions as much as life is just pooping all over them. So, and then there's another element of it, which is it's called an anthology show. So there's always been debate about, are these episodes connected in any way other than callback? And the more you get into it, the more you realize they are not just callback. There's references to technology from other episodes. And technology is similar in episodes. So, really, if you uh, 
put the work in or just find a, a website that has already done it for you, you can find the actual chronological order of the episodes based off the technology and the current events. Hmm. So it's basically a descent into uh, some sort of post-apocalyptic world from a world not too dissimilar to ours. Uh, for example, there's one where the technology probably already exists. It has to do with hacking viruses and private numbers on cell phones. That's the technology. But if we eventually get to... Uh, there's an episode with um, Dallas, someone... On the Jurassic Park, I'm really bad with names. Dallas, Bryce, something. Bryce Howard. Or yes, Bryce Dallas Howard. I don't know. Um, <laughs> she starts today an episode. Is the day we don't remember names. I think it's Dallas Bryce Howard or something. Maybe Chad. I have to look out. it up. But there's an episode where she lives in a society where uh, your self worth, as well as basically your currency, is your social media rating. People are constantly giving you a rating of one to five stars. Yep, Dallas. Or, no, it's Bryce Dallas Howard. <laughs> That's what I said. No, we originally <laughs> said Dallas Bryce Howard. No, I said Dallas, and you said Bryce Howard, and I said I think it's Bryce Dallas Howard. It's true. I, no, you weren't sure. <laughs> Stop <laughs> arguing this. We Continue. have the tapes. We've got the receipts. <laughs> We've got you on record. Continue, Joseph, <laughs> please. Wrong. So I would recommend watching it, um, obviously. Something I got in the habit of doing was going to a website called AV Club and just reading the review after I would watch an episode, just so I could process what happened, and then looking at the discussion and seeing how it emotionally registered with people, and that sort of helped me process the episode. But I would recommend watch it all the way through. There's going to be things early on in episodes where you don't quite understand what's going on yet, but you know that they're giving you clues. And eventually you have your aha moment. Sometimes that's when you get the aha moment thrown at you. Sometimes you just figure it out. So my intent is to go back and watch it again and then find those clues, but also to watch it in chronological order. That's what I love about people that always ask you questions during the movie. I'm just like, shut up. You're going to find out in a minute. <laughs> that's my son in a nutshell. <laughs> so let's move on to Spider-Man. Who's seen the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer? Spider-Man, please. I have. Alex, I, this is your segment. Joint segment? I, we're not doing joints, man. I didn't say joint segment. I said this is Alex's segment. Why is it my segment? Alex because segment. you were late. I was late, so I have to talk about Spider-Man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a good thing I just decided to look at it today. Um... So you got it's basically going to take place in England um, because he's going on a trip with his friends. I don't know if if it's for school or if it, they're just going for the hell of it. Um, he takes a class trip. You gotta take a class trip. Okay, that's a class trip. I guess. Um, and. Basically, he meets Nick Fury and some monster person. Yeah, some monster person. Place. <laughs> and it okay. immediately stops being a Spider-Man movie, and it's all about this other dude. Um, who Mysterio shoots. and Hydro-Man. Yeah, Mysterio, who shoots green beams out of his hands, which I've been on the Twitter, and there's a lot of people complaining about that. <laughs> Well, of course, they're going to complain. They don't like the way that it's... Uh, they didn't like the um, the visual that was given to it in the movie. They, they were saying, this doesn't match up with my nostalgia factor of the comics, and I never knew there was a hero named Mysterio, so well, I had no point of reference. <laughs> maybe, maybe if they used Rey Mysterio, the wrestler, it would have been better. Maybe if they got a luchador with a question mark on his face mask. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, well, I did not know who that was um, that was at the end. I was like, who the heck is that? Because, yeah, I don't have the great... No, I'm talking about the, the, the character! Because <laughs> I don't know all the Marvel superheroes either. It's just like, what? Who is that? Um, 
I actually read an article before we recorded about Mysterio, and he's part of the Sinister Six quite often. Mm-hmm. And he usually, through his involvement with them, gets caught and put in prison. But, like, the fishbowl is part of his classic image. He battles Spider-Man because he blames him for all his life problems. Hmm. Now, are are they... I couldn't tell, but it looked like he was using at least a diff, one other suit. Uh, Spider-Man, like, I don't know if it was just because he was under a shadow or what, but it looked like he had a darker suit at one point. It, it did look like he had a darker suit. Like, almost I mean, like a black suit. <laughs> like a black suit. Like a like a Miles Morales kind of suit. Yeah, pretty uh, much. But I don't think yeah, there's going to be, like, a symbiote element to, this, to the plot. That'd be too much. No, well, but yeah, Morales let's, didn't let's, have let's, a symbiote. Let's not go Spider-Man 3 on this and be like, alright, let's introduce, like, five villains <laughs> and... Also, Venom and that all that. Had a Sandman or something in it. Yeah, it had Sandman. Sandman was um, the best part of the movie. Oh, <laughs> uh, whoever <laughs> the electric guy was. Electric guy, Static Shock. No. Oh, uh, you're right. He's a DC hero. <laughs> well, there was there was three bad guys in that movie. It was Sandman, the the new Green Goblin, then Venom. No, there was another one though too. Wait, new Green Goblin as in Harry Osborn's kid? Yes, it was. There was also the electric guy that was like the that Mike, who was what? Jamie Fox played. Are you sure that's not? Or no, never mind. No, that was the other one. That that was the that was the next Spider Man series. Yeah, the second with Andrew Garfield second movie. The next mess. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and also, uh, I'm a little worried because well. I'm a little. I now I'm super worried because at the end of the of Homecoming, Zendaya's character is like, "Oh yeah, you can call me MJ." I was like, "No, please do not pull that crap where she's MJ," and it looks like they have. So now she's the Mary Jane, even though her name actually isn't Mary Jane. They just wanted to throw that in there. Let me tell you about the multiverse of Marvel. Millie Jacqueline. There are subtle variances in each in each world, and uh, for example, there's some where Captain America is not called Captain America; he's called Colonel America. So You're if this is BSing at us now, stop that. <laughs> no, that's, it's true. That is true. That's a Marvel Zombies. Uh, so for her to be MJ would mean she's not Mary Jane, but her initials by Marvel standards makes her the romantic interest. But see, that's the thing. Is it? I was always. I've been told that MJ is like like technically you need to have Gwen first and then MJ because Gwen comes before MJ. I They're mean, clearly not concerned with Spider Man canon as much as they are having Spider Man in the Avengers. I honestly think that Into the Spider Verse was the first time I'd seen Gwen in a film. Uh, no. Gwen was in Spider-Man 3 and was completely mistreated. See? No, um, there was Gwen, no Gwen was in Gwen was the f- in the Andrew Garfield one. They didn't yeah. even have MJ. I don't think I saw any of the Garfield films. Uh, were there more than one Garfield? There was two. The, the, there was two. You're, you're, An okay one and a bad one. The Garfield <laughs> ones are you talking about is the second set of movies, the first movie? Yeah, it was the ones with Garfield in it. Yes. Yeah. It, but, yeah, I, don't, was, so, I don't know. So, who, I don't know this guy. So you had the Tobey Maguire. To. You had yeah. the Tobey Maguire, which is Spider Spider Man one, two, and three, and okay. then you have the Andrew Garfield, which is the Amazing Spider Man. So he's the main. I don't remember actors. So this is the main, the Spider Man of that series. Yes. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> Hold on. Oh. We're confusing him. The Spider Man who's in Far From Home is the Spider Man. Is the same kid who's in Homecoming, not the same one who's in the Amazing Spider Man. He's the Garf- one that didn't feel so good. Yeah, the one who turned to dust in in. Yeah. No. 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 I remember Infinity Homecoming. Is it? No, yeah. So this is the third set. Right now we're on the third set of Spider Man. Oh, I got movies. that. But Gwen was Gwen was in the. Yes, Gwen was in the second set of Spider-Man movies. Yeah, the first movie. Because she was yeah. the one that was... Uh, I well, she was in the first and the second. She died in the second. <laughs> well, that's what... Why did you kill Spider-Gwen? Because they weren't going to continue the series, so there was no Spider-Gwen to continue. Like, this is a garbage fire, let's just kill Gwen. <laughs> so anyways, 
<laughs> That's such a weird decision, but okay. But yeah, so we talk about chronological order with Gwen coming for MJ. Yes, but apparently they don't care to follow that, which, I mean, technically the well, that's, first set of Spider-Man movies didn't follow it either. Hey, well, blame Sam Raimi. He's cool. He kind of, it, it kind of plays with the whole origin story thing. He's, we know where Spider-Man comes from. We don't always need the origin thing. We know Mary Jane's always the love interest later, so they just hopped right to that. But they had a different love interest. Like, I, I don't, as far as I know, I, I've never heard of the, the character for their the first love interest that he had. Uh, that's fine. Was, well, that makes it that makes it its own entity. A lot of times people want to see exactly what was in the comics, but sometimes it's you, you got to take a, how they executed it in the movie to make it enjoyable versus being exactly to the canon, you know? Malachi, I thought you were going to make the wrong point, but you made the right one, which is making a good movie matters more than anything else. Yeah, like you could you could be like, oh, canon doesn't matter because we're making a movie and and then make a complete crap hole of a movie. I think what you're saying is there's creative license, yes. but it only matters if you end up making something worth watching, or you, yes. you're trying to achieve that. Yeah. Mm. So are we at R R T X planning? Yeah, R T X planning. So Tristan's in charge of that one. I am. Unless Let's Malachi see. wants to, because he's going. Uh, I know that. Yeah, I don't know why Malachi is not going. So we we got the letters of acceptance and rejectance for um, guardianship now. So all the guardians know whether or not they're going to be guardians. Alex and I are going to be guardians, and we have set up and paid for our uh, the place where we're staying, or at least most of us have, and. Uh, so after, yes, rejectance is a real word. Don't bother me. Um, uh, so all that's left is getting plane tickets. And I know Alex was doing that last night. I haven't done it yet because I'm a lazy POS. Oh, I haven't actually purchased my tickets. I was looking because I, I am doing something different this year. And that is I am coming in on Tuesday, which is a day earlier than everybody else is uh, in our group. So I have to find a place. And I have pretty much locked down a place. I'm talking with the people right now. And so then I can buy my plane tickets. And then I'm good. There you go. Uh, so I still need to look at um, planes, tickets, prices, dates, times, all that kind of stuff. And I'll probably be doing the Wednesday instead of the Tuesday just because um, losing uh, pay is... I'm already going to be losing enough pay for the days I have to take off. I don't need to take off any more days. Because someone doesn't have vacation time. I actually supposedly do have some kind of um, PTO accrual at this one. I just, I sent operations an email trying to find out how much I have and how I use it and how fast I accrue it, and I got no responses so far. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe I'll lose less pay this time, as a matter of fact. Hopefully that's the case. Hmm. That would be good. Anyway, um, yeah, Joseph? What if, I'm, I don't have to fly. I, just, I can just drive. <laughs> he drives. Must be nice. <laughs> he can make his wife drive down there. He's got a she'll fat food she'll fuse. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally pulled out my mic so, or my headphones, <laughs> so he might get some reverb there. <laughs> oh, I thought he was laughing because I remembered that the proper term for a female chauffeur is a she'll fuse. Oh, uh, no, I, I didn't, I didn't know that. She'll fat. <laughs> Yes, I do have a show fuse, uh, and it's, I mean, isn't it basically the same drive as you visiting Malachi? That's a seven-hour drive for Tristan. Oh, now. never mind. Uh, <laughs> when I was uh, in Connecticut, it was only like four hours. What, what is <laughs> your, oh, yeah, yeah, so that's about, uh, it takes me about four, four and a half hours to drive from where I live on the eastern part of Missouri over to Kansas City, the western part. Oh, that's oh. See, when that's I when I was in Missouri, we were just sort of skirting the edges of it. 
skirting. You lifted <laughs> it. Didn't skirt. actually want to go into Missouri. <laughs> no, I mean we we if we had the they choice. They did because they visited me. Yeah, so we got to visit guys. my friend Alex, but it's okay. He's cute. Guys, <laughs> it's that time again. What time time is that? to get the flip out of here. We were talking, Malachi. Hey, hey. he's oh. right, Alex. He's right. It's time to get the flip out of here. It's so we were standing outside the sandwich place with Alex, <laughs> and we were just chatting away, Alex, me, and Brandon, and then we left, and Brandon was like, I've got to talk to him more. He was cute. <gasps> and then you said, good night. I, I, at least someone thinks I'm cute. <laughs> now, I want to hey, hear more about I Alex's so. boyfriend. <laughs> what, Tristan? <laughs> Other boyfriend, apparently. Other boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everyone. Uh, good night, yeah. Twitch chat. Time, time to get the flip out of here. Hashtag good night. Goodbye. Hashtag.